in three, two, one. Hi, I'm John Lynch, Director of Business Development for BSW Broadcast Supply Worldwide here at the New Orleans-based Louisiana, Mississippi Broadcasters Show. It, annually, it's one of the great regional shows around the USA and here with the number of vendors that are showing, very popular event for a lot of people, including here at the BSW booth. We're coming to you by way of the product called HDV Mixer. This is what you use exclusively from BSW, by the way, to put your radio shows live onto Facebook Live and onto your website and onto Instagram, and onto a YouTube channel, etc. Six inputs, five outputs, graphics, news crawl, Facebook messages and tweets showing up on your screen, all these kinds of things to build more audience and build more value for your customers. It's HDV Mixer. Ask us about it when you get the chance. And you have three different cameras that we're working with here today. So here on camera number two, we're talking about, again, HDV Mixer. We have packages for studio shows. We have packages for remote broadcasts. We even have one television station that is using this product for a television show. You say, John, it wasn't designed for television. Well, maybe it wasn't designed for that, but it's working, and it's working terrifically well. So that's the thing to remember about building social media awareness and audience for your radio station. The product is HDV Mixer and it comes exclusively from BSW. Plus, also want to show you what we're featuring in our booth here from WorldCast Systems. And for WorldCast Systems, I want to bring in Kevin Campbell. We're going to talk about this for just a moment because, Kevin, you're showing a number of things here. Let's start off with the Solar FM. Tell us a little bit okay. about that. So, the Solar FM um, is a standalone, um, basically, FM. Uh, transmission station so it's a low power um, FM transmitter give you 10 kilometers of coverage um, it has also a satellite receiver on board a rebroadcast receiver it has analog inputs it comes packaged with the solar panels with an antenna with the satellite receiver dish so everything you need uh, to get on air in very remote uh, locations where you don't have any access to utilities at the NAB, we introduced also a wind turbine option, so you can switch between solar, wind, and if you've got mains power, you can switch between mains power as well. Terrific, and of course, it's from WorldCast Systems, and that means it's available from BSWUSA.com. Now, over here, we have the IP codec with SureStream. We have the RDS encoder, the uh, ScriptEasy facility control, and the FM receiver silver. Tell us about them that are all in this uh, rack here on the table. Okay, so we start off with the FM receiver. This is a rebroadcast receiver. So we have, um, again, a very uh, rugged product. Um, this is to be used maybe with a transla translator or a gap filler product. We've got AS uh, EBU outputs. We've got analog outputs. And we've got dual MPX over AS outputs. So it can be used to uh, to supply audio to a one plus one configuration for example uh, the facility control the automatic control is uh, a 6464 64, uh, 24 in terms of contact closures digital inputs and analog outputs um, this has also got an SD drive solid state disk drive um, so again it's a very rugged uh, unit for telemetry at your transmitter site a bunch of inputs and outputs, more than most uh, transmitter sites, even transmitter sites that are co-hosting a number of frequencies would need. We also have lesser options in the Audimac Controlled Silver if you don't need that much in terms of input and outputs. Comes with the ScriptEasy on board as well, which is our uh, intelligent control automated uh, engine uh, inside. RDS uh, 2 encoder is the replacement product for our FMB80. We've got a couple of thousand of those in the market. Um, the FMB80, it's got all the functionality of the FMB80, plus it adds to that in that it's got MPEG, MPX over AS uh, inputs um, and it's RDS2 compatible. So RDS2 is a new standard that's still in process coming from the EBU. Um, which will give more carriers within the uh, MPX signal, which should give more data on the RDS. So it's RDS2 compatible. It's a future-proof product. Great. 
the IP audio codec then, this is uh, our stereo flagship product, um, SureStream Inside, which is our dual redundant streaming technology. So you can put your audio across two divergent networks for the purposes of redundancy. So if you lose one network or one network is degraded with lost packets, the audio at the far side is resequenced and you have a perfectly uh, recombined stream. DSP based technology, um, again, AS analog inputs, outputs, and MPX over AS as well, with the ability to do uh, a limited bandwidth, limited MPX over AS. So we can go from 2.4 megabits right up to 4.2 megabits. So you've got different options on MPX. ASCBU in this product, and then we offer an analog and ASCBU MPX option in the AOIP codec. All featuring an element that has been synonymous with WorldCast from the beginning. You put it on, it stays on. Now, one thing though is not here. Didn't make the show, but there's a good reason for it. They also have in the WorldCast system, Acreso transmitters, which are available from BSW. However, the one destined for this show had to have a last second would change a venue and go to a vent to go to a customer that needed it right now. That's right. So this year we introduced the, our yeah this year we introduced the five band audio processor on the hundred watt to two kilowatt transmitters. So we've seen a great uptake in these products uh, through BSW, especially for translator and gap filler type applications. So we have the five band processor on board. We have the RDS encoder on board as a software option. Um, we also have advanced measurement interface and again we have MPX over AS uh, as an input option which is becoming more and more popular in this market. Mm -hmm. Added to that we do the 5 and the 10 kilowatt mm -hmm. 1 plus 1 concept which is probably the most redundant uh, FM transmitter on the market. The 10 kilowatt for example has got 6 power amplifiers and can run in an unbalanced state for an unlimited time so you can lose a full power amplifier and still run at the 10 kilowatt power outing. Very important because of the ra power ratings that you have to run under today. Of course. So the 10 kilowatt, the 5 kilowatt, right down to the uh, low power solar FM on the 100 watt to 2 kilowatt range, we're still the only company that are offering a 10 year warranty mm -hmm. for a, a minimal cost at time of purchase. The standard warranty is three years, but if you pay a small fee at time of purchase, we will give you 10 years on everything. MOSFETs, power supplies, fans, everything within the transmitter. We're the only FM transmitter company to do that, and that's based on a belief in the product and the design philosophy that goes into making an Acreso FM transmitter. And it's been very successful for the BSW customers over the years that we've had the Acreso line here, which is not brand new. They've been around since the 50s, so we're talking uh, well-developed uh, transmitter line and available from BSW as just as we're doing this on HDV Mixer, here on first on camera number one, then we go on up and pick up on camera number two, and this is what you have available for HDV Mixer in your studio, and then we'll sneak back on over here, and this is our motorized robotic camera that is also available as part of this system, all part of HDV Mixer, and all bringing you also what uh, is happening with WorldCast Systems here at New Orleans, Louisiana for the Louisiana Mississippi Broadcasters Association event. It is going on through May 31st. Thanks for joining us with Kevin Campbell from WorldCast. I'm John Lynch, BSW's Director of Business Development for Broadcast Supply Worldwide, Tacoma, Washington. Thanks for watching.